Hello, and welcome to Fort Pitt Piano Company. My name is Joe Ravita, I'm the company manager. I'd like to speak with you today about one of the best pianos manufactured anywhere in the world today, the Essex line, designed and owned by Steinway. In the world of the intermediate piano, there are quite a few contenders. Unfortunately, a lot of the contenders play off the name on the piano and not the quality in the piano. We're going to show you today probably the finest piano you can buy anywhere with top line components in the intermediate price market, and that would be Essex. Let's start with our grands. Essex grands are designed by Steinway. Their teams oversee the construction of this piano constantly. Everything here is done to Steinway specification and Steinway design. So their point was to build the best piano possible at an intermediate price point, not to create something that was a price point with a name on it. Let's talk about the reasons why we do that and the things in this piano that no one else has. First of all, in a grand piano, one of the few things people talk about initially is the rim. Now the rim in the grand piano is different because there are actually two rims in any grand piano. There's an inner rim that the soundboard sits on, maintains the arch of the soundboard known as the crown, and there's an outer rim that supports the superstructure of the piano. All pianos have those. Virtually nothing in this price point tells you what's in there. We're going to change that today. The inner rim on all Essex Grands are beech. Beech is a very hard wood, second only to the high-end maple used in Steinway in Boston. Now, in addition to that, the inner rim is a one-piece design, and they are built to specifications and to tolerances that very few companies will do. The outer rim is Asian maple, another hardwood. The reason why hardwoods in the rim are so important is that inner rim supports that soundboard that Steinway has designed to work in this piano. Secondly, the outer rim is hard and reflective of the sound. The vast majority of pianos that compete with the Essex use terms like assorted hardwoods, select hardwoods. They won't tell you what's in the piano because if they were the top end woods, they'd be more than glad to tell you what's there. It's just how the market is today. So we have, again, an inner rim of beech, an outer rim of Asian maple. Next, we'll talk about the soundboard. Almost every soundboard in the industry today is solid spruce. We have that as well. High grade, close grain cut. But we go a step further. There's a process known as tapering the sounding board. A tapered sounding board helps the sound expand. As you know, if you go outside and you yell, the further away you get from your voice, the duller the sound is. It's the same concept. The further out the sound goes from the sounding board to the ends, there's more wood than there is sound. So by tapering the soundboard on the ends, what you do, you create less wood to eat the sound from the sounding board. It's amazing. What happens is smaller pianos sound better, have better volume control, definitely richer, and particularly in the bass and treble ends where smaller pianos are less active, become much more effective, much more involved in the music you play. So that's the next thing we talk about, our tapered sounding board. Our pin block is multi-radial, Adirondack maple, quarter sawn, phenomenal. Great, great holding power, great tuning power, just the best in the marketplace in this price point. Now, we have spruce ribs. And what ribs are, under the bottom of the piano, and you can actually see how ribs are in an upright, it works the same type of a way, but it's done differently in a grand. They run on the underside of the sounding board. And what that does is draw the sound across the grain in the sounding board. We use spruce ribs, same grade as the sounding board, and they are notched completely into the rim of the piano. They don't go to the ends and stop, they notch into the rim. That means it carries across the entire area of the sounding board. When you add in the number of ribs in a piano and the size of the sounding board, that becomes very, very important in the production of sound, sustain, and tone. The next thing we talk about is unheard of in our price point. In a piano, when you press a note, the hammer comes up, strikes the string, the strings vibrate and go down through the bridge of the piano. This is the bridge. The vast majority of bridges in this price point are maple. They have to be, they're a hard wood. However, there is a much more efficient bridge, but it's much more costly to do, and it's called vertical laminations. To my knowledge, this is the only piano I'm going to show you under the $25,000 mark that offers this at a piano today. What they do, 
there are vertical laminations cut. So when the sound goes down through the top of the bridge, it's going through a vertical lamination. We all know the shortest point between two distances is a straight line. So in other bridges, while they're hard, the sound travels along whatever the grain run is that piece of wood, and the extra time and distance detracts from the tone. That's even more important than a smaller piano. This way, the sound goes straight down from the top to the bottom, directly through the bridge. Now, why don't other companies do this? Because it's expensive. You have to design the bridge to fit every different size piano you build. And the laminations have to be prescribed in certain directions in certain ways all throughout the process. It's not inexpensive to do. We weren't building the most inexpensive piano. We were building the best piano at an intermediate price. So we have vertically laminated bridges. Now something while we're talking about that, in the Essex verticals, this is the only vertical I'm aware of that has a vertically laminated treble bridge in it. We carry that through on our verticals. So our verticals in the mid $5,000 range have a vertically laminated bridge. I'm not aware of anything anywhere near that price point that does that in verticals. Back to our grands. We now talk about the hammers. The hammers in here are Steinway chosen. They're arch like Steinway, they're cut the same way. They want to maintain the same type of shaping that Steinway has designed over the years and has been uh, an amazingly wonderful force in the musical industry. Now, Finally, we want to talk about the things we do here that some other companies don't do. We have a full sostenuto pedal on this. The way the sostenuto pedal works is when you play notes and you press the middle pedal, only those notes sustain. Everything else remains staccato. Would you believe there are pianos of $15,000 that don't have a sostenuto pedal? In addition to that, our plate is full cast iron traditional and they are all done to specifications we require at this level. Our key bed, very important. A lot of key beds that are done today are metal supported by some type of wood. This is a solid spruce key bed, period. Quarter sawn and set. It's top of the line, it's not going to move. Our strings are all Rosalau wire, top end, and our keys are all spruce, okay? So what we're showing you here is a piano that offers tremendous value, top of the line components, the best in the world there is in manufacturing, overseen by Steinway. We wanted to give you a piano that didn't break the bank and won't break your heart either was down the road. This is an instrument you can keep for years, lifetime, and you can get musical excellence out of this piano. Most pianos in this category won't do that. So that's why I wanted to talk to you today about Essex Grand Pianos. Now on our verticals, as we talked about, we're carrying the same type of componentry. By the way, we don't make limitations. In other words, most companies have set group of A verticals, set group of V verticals. Set. In other words, everything up the line changes and gets better. We don't do that. Componentry isn't the same in every vertical we build. The variances will be the height, of course, the size of the sounding board, the length of strings. But the componentry does not change. We don't build a low quality, an intermediate quality, and a better quality. We build the best quality, and you pick size. So variance in pricing on Essex will be determined by two things, the height of the piano and do you want to pay for an exotic cabinet, wood cabinet, or something of that nature. We want you to get the best piano possible and not have to pay for high-end cabinetry that you might not want to get that. So we want to give you a piano, again, that will carry you to the level. If you never get a grand, you've got a piano that will carry you there. If you want to get a grand, it will maintain the highest level of value trade-in. So now we've got a piano that has the vertically laminated bridges, all the top of the line componentry I talked about in the grand pianos. Look at the superstructure in the back here. Next time you go look at a piano, ask the dealer to turn the piano around. I think you'd be shocked by the way the backs of some of these pianos look. This is a superstructure that maintains the, the tension on this piano for the life of the piano. In addition, all these pianos carry 10-year warranties. We prep and tune everything by Steinway trained, fully dedicated technicians that work for us. And finally, there's the Steinway Promise. If you buy an Essex or a Boston Grand and you trade it within 10 years to a Steinway Grand, you get 100% trade-in value. That's guaranteed, and it's not against fictitious pricing. It's against standard pricing. So, thank you today for your time. I appreciate it, and hopefully you come in and give Essex a shot. There's nothing on the marketplace like this at these price points. Don't be fooled by a name on a piano. Come and find out what's behind that name, how it's put together, what is in it, and how it was intended to be sold. Thank you so much.